Alrighty guys, and welcome back to more Tales of Berseria. Apparently I quick say is right next to a horse's ass. But enough of that. What we want to do is get ready to do a little bit of side. For the first time in a while, uh, we are now available. We are now eligible to apply for some side quests. <laughs> but yeah, side quests are available to us right now. A couple of them. And what we want to go ahead and do is pretty much just talk to Benwick and get ready to backtrack. Oh wow, they're fishing out there. That's interesting. That's pretty cool to see. All these NPCs that we gathered just fishing and stuff. That's, that's fun. Let's talk to these guys before we talk to Benwick. The Salatoma worked. Everyone is ship shape. We won't forget the favor you did for us here. Dial is one thing, but Kuragane too. If he falls, he'll drown. <laughs> we'll just haul him back in. He looks like he's having a good time. Even without a face, you can tell. <laughs> the crew is back in the meaner, in meaner than ever. Excuse me. All right, we're ready to sell. All right, so we can go back to Port Katniks. We can go all the way over here to where we need to go, or we can go to this class 4 zone. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. A dangerous region quarantined by the Abbey. Those who dare to enter are warned to beware of slime and slud. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Alright, Aberrant Quarter. Class 4 administrative zone. Oh, look at this. It's like an arena, dude. What the hell? Can I explore outside here? Yeah, before we step in the middle, see if there's anything we can do outside of this damn zone. We got some pillars. We got some pillars. But what a, what a chest that, though. Am I wasting my time? Oh, there we go. We got a cap chest. 115. Well, we located it, so at least we know where one of them is now marked on the map so that's all that really matters I just need to get cat balls I never did look up to see if cat spirit spirit orbs cat orbs whatever I like call them cat balls because it's easier to remember that way whoa this is a malicious force quick save quick save is that a fighting arena of some sort I don't see any demons around look there's something spewing out of the middle I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! Ooh. Thanks for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. Alright, I agree. But, let's see. What, what the hell is this? Here you can battle waves of specific types of demons. Select summon demons to call demons to the arena and commence battle. After a certain amount of demons have been defeated, more will appear. The battle is over when all demons have been completely wiped out. If you are defeated in a battle, you, you will return to your original pre-battle status. Be sure to prepare yourself thoroughly before stepping in. So this is the arena of the game. For the first time you clear the challenge, you will receive a reward. So give it your all. Summon demons. I won't run away. All right, here we go. Damn, you already going in? Form zero. Thunder. Our recruiter. No escape. Alright, let's go, I said, let's do it. Uh-huh. 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 U
to die? Think Hope you you're can ready dodge? to die. Just uh, try. Uh, 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 uh. No escape. Well, I'll eat it. Oh, it uh, works. Too slow. Wow. No escape. So that's what Lighthouse goes. Let's go. I'll set. No escape. You're wide open. Bird. No escape. Well, I'll. You're wide open. Bird. No escape. Up. Ooh, that's good. Nice. No escape. Let's go. I'll set. Oh, baby. Damn, Eisen. Now, rise. God damn, did he hit combo? <laughs> oh, we haven't fished tonight, my dude. We having seafood, though. We having so much seafood. Not good. Nope. I'll just switch to Eleanor. Oh my god. <laughs> the stunts, they sending me the stun city. No, I don't want to go. I've been there so many times. <laughs> Oh no, not like this. I'll finish this. You're wide open. I'll finish this. <laughs> that was good. That switch though. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Damn, dude. Focus down. That's not good. I'm still sending people to Stun City. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crazy. Too slow. Yeah, no escape. He's still swinging at me. No escape. Tremble. No escape. You're wide open. Burn. No escape. Ready to die? Ready to die? Duff City. This is Duff City. Everything else is Stun City before this. Better one. Pressure. Eat it. You're wide open. Oh, no, uh, the Stun City. No escape. <laughs> See, Stun <laughs> City. <laughs> no escape. Up. The wide open bird. Dude, he lost in the people on a tall no expense paid no freaking vacation to Stun no City. Escape. Look at this. Up. He can't stop the sending people open. there for free. <laughs> no oh, God. Tremble. Blast them. Let's go. No escape. <laughs> You're That's fine. Open. Stun Burn. City. Who wants some next? No, it's not good. I'll help you. Velvet. Enough oh, waiting. Get up. Devour. Quit it. No escape. I'll crash through. Nice. That was a good combo. Quit it. Hold there. No escape. Crash through. Don't touch me. Turn it up. Sir, get Oh my god. Get up. Oh yeah. Stun City? Uh, oh, look at that damage. All because you want the Stun City. <laughs> because you want the Stun City, you get another Nifty card. <laughs> Ooh. It's time. I can heal the wounds, but I can't take the seed of power. Put a whip. Move my crackle. Put a crackle. Put a whip. 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 Crackle. Put a but I am the victor. No experience, but man, this is interesting. All demons defeated. All right, allows you to perform different arts by pressing attack while guarding. Oh, so I can set more arts. <laughs> Looks like we won't be joining the party. I can see why this place is the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey's keeping way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. I agree. Indeed. Most everything we fought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, 
We should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. All right, so we had a fight. Mm, ugly, gelatin, amorphous types, right? So now it looks like we can hold set arts to L1. It looks like maybe. Next page. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So now we can set more art. Thank God. All right, they just trying to get complicated for no reason. I ain't, I ain't got time for that, but it's, it's, all I gotta say is it's convenient. It's definitely convenient, for sure. All right, so that was an interesting little side mission that we could have did right there. But there's even more stuff we can do now. Now, we can go all the way back to Port Katnix really quick. There's some stuff we can do back at Port Katnix. So that's what we're going to do. Because we need to backtrack to a previous dungeon and essentially uh, get some specific item that's apparently for like a, an entire side quest. But right now, uh, I'm just going to speed up to the point to where I get the item so I, I can just basically cut out all the boring backtracking for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Or a few seconds, actually. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. We are within the Vester Tunnels once again. And we're here to pretty much fulfill a condition for a long-running side quest. And the reason why we're all the way back down here is pretty much to get the specific ingredient to be able to make the Omega Elixir. And if you look at your valuables really quick and you go to the Omega Elixir Recipe 1, it tells you to gather long dial dust and the records show that it was once excavated in Vester Tunnel so that's exactly why we're here we're here to get this and we needed to go all the way back here to be able to retrieve long dial's dust so definitely this should be interesting we can finally start doing side quests and this was the first one that opened up so for sure we're gonna do as much as we can you know as much as we can as long as it's not arduous and you know monotonous to do but yeah, here we go. Worn Spear. I can't believe I never opened that chest. Slow and capability. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. Slow and capability, though. Fluorite Fragment. Damn it, look at all these swords he had down here. Here we go. This must be Long Dao's Dust. The ingredient Videl's Omega Elixir recipe calls for. I can't believe you actually found it. We have to go tell Videl. Maybe he's been able to translate the rest of the list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll backtrack your ass out of this tunnel. It spent me like five or six minutes actually getting here. It was actually pretty annoying. Especially since it was just long ass hallways. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Because we have the ability to just straight leave this place, we're gonna go straight to Port Cadmix. Catnix. There we go. And now what we want to do is go talk to Videl at the other place. Oh, let me just get that. <laughs> let me just get that real quick, man. Wow! Is that Long Dao's dust? That's one of the Omega Elixir ingredients. You found it! You really found it! Yeah. It's proof your research is right. Thanks! I've just managed to translate the description of the second ingredient. Here, take this How and... How convenient. Oh, what's wrong? Your face is red. Hey, you're burning up. It's fine. I'm pretty much always running a fever. That makes it even worse. We need to get you home so you can rest up. But I'm still translating the recipe. You heard me. All right. She's scary. Is she your sister or something, Lafayette said? Well, it's... Kind of a long story. Oh, okay. Well, you seem to have a pretty complicated life. <sighs> Do you think he's always that? You hear sick? what he said? It's a Wouldn't complicated me. story. I was that was when I was so a kid too. like ambiguous. He's probably been like this since he was born. That must be why his parents named him Videl. That was so ambiguous. You know what? You know why they did that, right? They didn't expect when you would actually do this damn side quest. So I have a feeling. That they purposely said, the, the way he responded was on purpose because they didn't want to spoil people. So that only makes me feel like 
You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's understandable. It's understandable that why they would do that. But anyway, I apologize. It means to live. Huh. I never thought about that. Luffy said is like that too. It means one who lives. One who lives. And he wants to be an explorer when he grows up. I feel sorry for him. But if he drinks the Omega Elixir, I think he can get better. When he sets off on his adventures, will you let him aboard the Von Eltia, Aizen? I suppose I could cut him a deal. You'd charge him? <laughs> I'm a pirate kid. Comes with the territory. But I promise you, I won't charge him too much. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that'll have to do. One who lives. I did not know that Lafayette's name had meaning behind it. <laughs> Didn't mean much in the end. I poured my soul into getting him through, but he's still dead all the same. Hope. <laughs> what a waste. You really think it was pointless? What else am I supposed to think? It won't bring him back. That's interesting, because I'm pretty sure at this point in the story, Velvet has not actually confirmed with the entire cast that her brother was named Lafayette as well. At least to my knowledge. <laughs> so maybe doing some of these side quests are kind of... I don't know. I was gonna say, like, maybe doing these side quests early like this are kind of spoilery. But at the same time, I mean, is it really a spoiler? The way they answer the... like, the way they respond are very ambiguous, you know? It's whatever. It's pretty smart, though. Anyway, let's just keep going. I think we did all the side stuff that we can do currently, so we're going to be on our way to where we need to be going. And uh, let's go talk to Mr. Benwick. Mr. Benwick, we need to go set a course to the place where we need to go. Do you remember where we need to go? The crew is back and meaner than ever. You salt we sell. Alright. Let's go. City of the Southern Seas. Alright. Here we go. It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! <laughs> Quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts! <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. <laughs> ripened. <laughs> Hey, everybody looks like a pirate. Except for her, she's just an angel. <sighs> the Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh. Something wrong? Uh. Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. Huh. No, I drank my Solitoma juice. Ah, tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I... despise them. They killed my parents! Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. 
They destroyed everything. And everyone. How stereotypical. Including your family? How cliche. Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. So that's what she keeps looking at during her idol pose. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. <laughs> Angel Eleanor. Hey. Those wings, those big ass wings she's got. <laughs> you couldn't even see uh, Rokuro. Whoa, it was like a labyrinth. Y'all seen that? All the way to the southeast. Hey, new continent. Land ahoy, boys. Land ahoy. Oh, is that, is that, is that right? What is that? Damn, what the hell is that? That's called a pangyon. A type of bird native to this area. Pinyon? Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender and makes a lovely stew. Wow. Wow, what's it taste like? They eating penguins? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. Savage. <laughs> You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm, well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh. What? <laughs> you know, like that. Bruh, that doesn't make any like sense. What? To put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. A grown-ass woman. Well, <laughs> since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chapoom! Bye bye! Bruh. Your feelings broke? <laughs> Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. She was really trying to get out of there, huh? Hey, we made it to Jamaica, city of the southern seas. Damn, she says it's hot out here. Is it really hot? Or is it just you? Ah, ah, ah! Okay. Alright, we're done. Horrible jokes. A fellow fisherman told me he saw an octopus eating a whale. That octopus must have been a demon, which means demon blade has spread to the sea. Oh no! We can jump down here, it looks like. Alright, let's come over here and talk to this guy. Excuse me, have you heard of a woman named Grimworth? Grimoire? Eh, so can't say I have. Does it sound like a South again name? Are you sure she's on this island? Is this your first time in South again? You need to protect your skin from the sun, or you'll be sorry. Thanks for the warning. All right, let's go. Hey, we got any new? Nope. Yeah. Item exchange. Bienfu hat, huh? Nice. You know, bottle times five. Totally, this is where we can get those Enoth bottles from, and the Nor bottles. So yeah, if I need to get any of those bottles, I'll just do mini games and stuff. I mean, in the meantime, yeah, I guess I'll hold on to my points for now. And what I'll do is jump down, collect these cat balls, and see what's... Whoa. Ooh, we got red herbs, hey. Red lavender. 
Lavender. Hold on, there was a chest in the other place. This place is pretty big. And then they have a, uh, they have a, uh, guild over here, too. Tuna. Tuna! You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish! Ow! Oh, hilarious! <laughs> Let's jump off. Dream Herring. Let's talk to this guy. In my father's day, Southgate was a paradise where all you needed to do was fish. But now we're crushed between demons on one front and exorcist rules on the other. <sighs> my generation missed out on a good life. <laughs> you damn right. You damn right. It sucks, doesn't it? I want... No, I want mutton. Fresh mutton. Pardon me, we're looking for a woman named Grimoire. Do you know her? I'm afraid I don't. Uh, but I know where to get some Grimworms. They're limp things, but like lugworms. You can use them as bait, but for my money... <laughs> a cat worm is always the better option. I see. Thank you for the advice. Well then, that was a whole lot of useless information. Damn. Calm down. We might have to use that later. Oh, look at that. We got all these kind of dudes in here. I'm looking for a woman named Grimoire. Do you know her? Well, I've been here for 29 years and I still don't have a female acquaintance. Alright, sorry I brought it up. <laughs> Damn. Let's talk to this guy. So, how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That, and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. Tarnish silver coin. One tails coin. That was so cheap. One tails coin. I ought to sue the makers of this game for wasting my time like that. Oh, it was a check. Something fed spar fragment? We can even go higher than this. Damn. We going on a roof. What we got? Silky paper. Silky. We got wine. Hey. Damn, this place is huge. Right, let's keep going. Hey, jump down like an idiot. She just floated down like. <laughs> Don't give it up, Eleanor. So we got one over there. Yeah, looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff we gotta look for here. Alright, let's keep exploring the town. I don't think we've been over here yet. Wait, is this leading me back to the old area? Yeah, it did. Oh my god. But how do I get over there is the question. I guess I had to get there from the other side. Okay, that's interesting. Let me grab this though. There's a cat box right under there. Keep going. Do you know a woman named Grimoire? She's got a listless aristocratic air about her, like a noble woman or twilight. I don't know her, sorry, but I'll tell you one thing. A boy your age shouldn't talk like that. Be careful your tongue doesn't get you burned. Wow. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bruh. Shit your old ass up. I'll talk how I even how I want to talk, alright? Hey, we got a church here. Oh boy, is this the same priest? Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Oh god. Who? 
Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. <laughs> well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. <laughs> no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? <laughs> That's not what I meant either. <laughs> ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. <laughs> Get your act together, man. Y yes. I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he straight got trolled by Rokuro. Everybody's trolling the priest. The priest conversations are hilarious. Oh my god. Please bless me with large halls, safe voyages, a happy home, freedom from disease, financial stability, and whatever comes else comes to mind. Thank you. Dad, he praying for everything. Perhaps people really are incapable of understanding one another. My grandfather told me there was once many Empyreans. Amanok. Uh-huh. Emesia. Yup, yup, yup. That's kind of confusing. Wait. What is Indominus associated with? Darkness. I had a twin brother that died when I was little. Whoa. It's been 60 years since he's passed. But I still pray that his soul rests peacefully. You have my condolences. Was it an accident? No, it was the 12 year sickness. He heard the voice of the sea and the wind, but I never could. He was always such a pure boy. Huh. I don't know about y'all, but that sounded pretty dark. And I'm leaving the... Wait, 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 wait. If I go back in, will it reload the priest? No, I didn't. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's go to the beach, fam. Where the beach at, though? Let's see up this next sub-event. Damn, what the hell is that? Let's open it. On the cast that gave me absolutely nothing. Anything on the beach we can pick up that's useful? Lovely sea stuff. We could probably sell some of these items for like a large amount of money. I don't know though. Well, yeah, apparently there's a sub event on the beach over here with these kids. No, not with these kids, but the dude by the boat. All right, I see. Uh, let me get this real quick. Life bottle. Abandon it. I just say we opened it. It's become common practice to use Southgan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in Southgand. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and Southgand were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Midgand. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to Southgand. He had used the natant logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and Southgand, and the age of exploration began. Wow. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgand. Damn. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, age of exploration, more like age of exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but Southgand used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand. <laughs> this must have been a really fun place. <laughs> wow, that was actually interesting. But there was like a one line where Lafayette was literally sounding like they had... <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it sounded like they sped up Lafayette's voice or whatever. Or like, it was horrible editing. Like, the sound director or the audio 
engineer just cut up the voices and try to just take from multiple takes. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was multiple takes that he had to do, and then the audio engineer just did not properly. I don't know. Set the timeline for the audio, <laughs> cause that was pretty bad. Bad, as in ass. But it looks like we found that route to get that chest, so let's come this way. Yup. Now we can get this chest over here. That better be worth it. Nope, it surely was not, and uh, I wasted my time. I'm literally about to say fuck these chests and then fuck exploring, cause it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. 80% of the time, the only time you want to explore is for side quests and sub events. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead, save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Tales of Bizarria to fully explore the rest of the souls. So I will see you guys very much later.